So I've come to the realization that a lot of my views, like 3 out of the 4 views that I get on my channel, are from my Bulwark video. And um, in my opinion that's probably one of the worst videos that I've made, except for my introductionary video. That one just sucked balls. So yeah, um, I've decided to make another video about the Bulwarker. Because it's a, it, it seems to be a subject that um, that pulls uh, more attention than other subjects that I've talked about. So I've decided to answer a question that someone sent to me. Um, I will do this in the future. If you will send me a question, a good question, or even uh, give me a crappy, uh, stupid question, I will answer it anyway. And I will answer it on video. Because, um, hey, that's fun, right? Right. So, uh, here's a question from Rainbow Rover. And he asked, how long do you typically hold each movement? So he's talking about the Walker. How long do I hold each movement, uh, each uh, isometric movement? Is basically what he's asking. Here's the thing. Uh, me personally, I do uh, movements with the bulwark before I hold it isometrically. I bet that is not a good word for that. But I um, do a few uh, sets, um, do 50 repetitions of a movement, and then I hold it uh, 10 to uh, 50 seconds. Because that puts a lot more strain on my muscles, is what I found. For me it doesn't work to to just hold it and um, keep it that way. It, it doesn't work for me as efficiently as that used to be. If you are a beginner that will work for you. You can just hold it for 10 seconds or, or something like that and you will get uh, yeah, strained muscles. If you are an, on an intermediate level you have to, to do uh, more shit to get uh, the same soreness. But here's the thing, what's more important than that is that you are able to put, uh, to pull or to push the bulwarker as far out as you can. Because that is what makes your muscles stronger, that is what puts your muscles over the top, if you get my drift. That is what, um, what increases your maximum potential. Look, if you are a natural bodybuilder, what is very important is that you are able to put to to push and press a lot of weight. You get what I mean? Um, what the bulwark enables you to do is that you can hold a movement for a longer time. But you need to combine that with strength, and that's what's great about the bulwarker. You can combine a, a holding movement with a lot of pressure. Because, hey, just doing an, an, an isometric movement isn't that hard. You can just push, you can pull, you see, very easy shit. But with the bulwark it's different. Because you have constant strain, you have constant pressure that's also pushing your arms outward while you push inwards. You see, it's, it's not only being able to condition your muscles for, for a long period of time, it also enables you to use more strength and that's what increases your strength so what's more important uh, to say in short is to increase your maximum potential is to increase the maximum amount that you can pull or to push and you have to be able to do that between I would say 10 to 20 seconds that's a nice goal if you can uh, hold it on that uh, you, you have to hold the movement between those two times. So, that's the video. I thank you for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Like I said, ask me whatever the fuck you want. And I will make a video out of it. And it will be great fun. Yeah, I will make uh, a video about it. And you will be featured on my channel. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, anyone wants to be featured on my channel, right? So, uh, ask me to most wacky shit if you want. I don't care. I will answer it. Thanks for watching.